Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is game user settings? The confirm video node mode. Confirm video mode node. So let me just explain how this node works and show you it working. And then I'm going to spend a couple more minutes explaining how to use it properly because if you don't, you're going to run into issues. So if you just want what it does, you don't have to wait for long. So here's what it does. When you run the confirm video mode node, it's going to take your current screen resolution and write it out to file and save it as the last confirmed screen resolution and the last confirmed screen mode, the full screen mode, so windowed or not. Let me show you that. Let me open up my game user settings INI file and we're going to find these four settings. We have the current resolution and then we have the last user confirmed resolution. When you take and use the confirm video mode node, it takes whatever it currently has in the game user settings object for the resolution and writes it, well, not writes it out, but puts in the last user confirmed resolution size values here into the game user settings object. Now it's important to note it writes it out to the object itself. It doesn't save it to disk. You will still need to run a save settings or apply settings node to get those things saved to disk. It's just going to write it to the object itself. Now, here's where the problems come in. Keep in mind our game user settings node is persistent during our play session, our play and editor session, when we are testing, which means if I was to say, do this right here, get the game user settings, it's going to pull them the first time off of disk and print it out, so I'll get 1280. Then I confirm the video mode, so it's now going to write the 1920 by 1080 resolution settings in there. And then I get it again, it's going to tell me and now is 1920. So it's exactly like we expect. And I'll hit play, and you'll see that, 1920 and 1280. Now that I've stopped it, keep in mind our game user settings object is persistent. So rather than getting the screen resolution settings in here the next time, it's going to pull it off of the object. It's not going to load it from disk. So now any other time I run it, it's going to give me back 1920 and 1920. It is not going to give me the values I actually have saved to disk. And that is important to know when you start running to issues. If you are going to make changes like confirming the video mode, make sure you save it out to disk or you're going to have issues because your disk values and your object values are not going to match. You can of course get around it by forcing a load from the disk every time you get the settings. For example, I could get the settings, tell it to load the settings and force a reload, and then go ahead and go from there. And now you'll find I get, whoops, I need um, to close this, and I need to actually plug in, there we go, and we'll run this. And now you'll find I get 19, 20, and 1280, and it's going to persist every single time because I'm forcing the load off of the disk and not using the object settings. So that is something to keep in mind. Using a writing node like confirm video mode, which it tends to write to the game user settings object, you want to save afterwards or you're going to end up with an issue. You're going to get mismatched. So in this case, if I was to go over here and let's grab this, and let's do an apply settings. And we actually want it to apply this time. Uh, that should not be connected over there. It should be connected right there. And this should be connected here. There we go. What we're going to do is I'm going to pull up my file that I currently have. And as you can see, it's the 1920 and the 720. I'm going to go ahead and run this. We're going to see our 1920 and 1920 values. We're going to close this. We're going to go back and open up our file. And now that I've applied it, you can actually see it saved my last user confirmed setting to the current resolution setting, just like I told it, because we've gone ahead and written out with an apply settings code. So that is pretty much going to wrap up this node. This node is useful for when you want to do safety checks, basically uh, allow the player to change the resolution, 
Before you do that, confirm the video mode as the current video mode. So that way you're saying, hey, obviously you can see this setting. So we know that's a good video mode. Let's go ahead and make sure it's saved out properly. And then let's try your new one. Then try the new one, maybe give it like a 10 second delay, a timer of, hey, they need to push this button to say it's okay or we revert. And if they don't say it's okay, you can revert by getting the last resolutions, which are covered in a different video. Or you can go ahead, if they did say it was okay, go ahead and confirm that video mode as the new one. And now you have a new good fallback.